This is the Tribe on 99 this is FM. This the Tribe on 99 FM. Friday nights get bigger and bolder towards the end of the year. Welcome back to the Tribe exclusives only on 99FM. Now, it's just so fresh. Like, they were here just about a month ago when they're back again. That means these boys are busy in the studio. So, ladies and gents, welcome back. C-U-P. Cool, cool, under, pressure. cool, cool under, under pressure. Cool under pressure. Thank you very oh, much yes, for having Super us, Oh, yes, Super Ice and Willie well, G. G. What yeah. do you do, man? Big dogs are back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's catch up where we left off. Last time when you were here, you were on your way to Cape Town. Yeah. Yes. Very excited at that point in time. I could hear it in your voices, guys. It yeah. was, <laughs> it was, it was good, man. Yeah. How was that experience? What happened in was, CT? Yo, it was our first booking outside of the country. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah. we went there, we performed in front of a new market. We went to go promote as Namibians. We were the only Namibians performing there, actually. We had yeah. a lot of people from France, Congo, uh, Malawi, and what else? A lot of, yeah, a lot of like, different, uh, countries. different other yeah. African countries. Now, you mentioned that yeah. time that the performances were going to be in some type of, like, no, like the ghettos. Yeah. Like, yeah, you guys were going to go to. Mission, 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 Mission Plain. Plain. We went to yeah. Mission's Plain, yeah. Kailisha, and then. Um, the last one was in City in Hall, town. which was in town, which yeah. was a big, big, big hall. Actually. How was that experience, man? How uh, it was, was it was it interacting was, with that new crowd. It was it. something new because they had to learn. Yeah. They had to learn. We were doing local languages. We had a lot of yeah. local language. Mm. But the music type, like it was hip hop and mm-hmm. quite all, you know, so they could, you know, kind of like relate. Universal language. And it was dope. Yeah. It was dope. The people, like for me, they gave good response. I like that. Yeah, yeah. some places the crowds were a bit, eh, you know, mm. a bit down. But most of the time, everybody like, responded they were like that. especially to Rukwao Riku- yeah yeah we have a song called Rukwao it's a trap it's song, a trap song yeah. and, and they were they like, like oh. hey hey <laughs> what is that hey, Rukwao yeah, yeah. You know, so you got them in the flow yeah, of things yeah we got as them well. in the flow of things so, I like that yeah, man I yeah, like that we, did you get a chance to interact with the other artists did you get a chance to share ideas network yeah, yeah. there were there were a lot of very talented um, other guys there, especially the French speaking um, artists Mm-hmm. So we got some contacts, but you know these are what I liked about it was there wasn't a major major headlining artist at the festival. Mm. It was all mm. just like the, the the not to say upcoming, but the the, the, the artists that are also in mm. between upcoming and also breaking through Absolutely. that were performing there. But the, we met uh, DJ Ready D. All right. We did some radio interviews there as well in Cape Town. We did yeah. uh, we did at some Bush Radio. Bush Radio. Yeah, Bush yeah. Radio. Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah, but anyway, they enjoyed the music anyway. All right. And like, especially at that our latest single. Absolutely, because we're feeling it back home yeah, as well. Yeah. We gotta feel it here first yeah. Yeah. before it <laughs> spreads its branches exactly. into Southern Africa. Yeah. All right. Now you guys are warming up because you're about to release your album. Mm. This is your second album. Second this album. This is the second one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And it's been a couple of years. We spoke about this. Like, it's been how long? It's, it's been uh, eight years. Eight years. Seven years in huh? between. Yeah. When was every Friday released? Yo, bra, that was... 2010, <laughs> actually. It's been, been 2010, six years. Yeah. Six years six since years, then. Yeah. And now, finally, your next uh, sophomore, your sophomore album is yeah. about to come out. Let's touch base on that. Um, you, every single Friday, yeah. what do you call that Friday? Free, Friday. Friday. Free Fridays. Free Fridays, you are sending c- singles to radio stations, radio yeah. presenters, just folks in general. Yeah. But these are songs that are what? Like, what are these? Are they included in the album or...? Not even. Not even. Not None even. of them are going to yeah. be in the album. You know, we are put in a position like after Heavy Friday and then the gap, you know, it's always like, where's the music? Where's the yeah. music? Then we're like, oh, okay, look. Now what we're going to do, we're going to give you quality songs now. Back mm-hmm. to back, five five weeks. Yeah. Every Friday we're going to drop a new jam. Then just to, you know, block out the space. And also like the other yeah. thing we noticed, like there's a lack of hits in the system. I don't yeah. know what's wrong with my other colleagues yeah. in the music see, industry. Yeah. But yo, the radio stations are playing too much South African music. Mm-hmm. We need to stop playing Namibian music. But mm-hmm. we need the quality stuff. Mm-hmm. Stop keeping those those stuff in the studio and then yeah. they're there yeah. for like three years then you get bored of them bring yeah. the stuff Just give it out the give it out yeah. for free it out. Yeah. yeah let the I people like hear it yeah. so I like, like um, our album's coming up and um, none of those tracks are going to be on the album actually so these yeah. that we're hearing now they are good they are yeah. really hits yeah, yeah hit but songs. these are just for <laughs> make the Friday nah. yes, yeah and chill chill and blow now if these sounds so good how does the album sound what's the what's the message on the album what's I, 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 th- what's the I think I think it? people should just wait for it and, and, and they should see the new sound that we have created and I know people will love it if they don't then we'll do better next time alright yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But of course, you wouldn't be releasing stuff that you're not comfortable exactly, with. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. We're very comfortable with the material we have right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, there, was, there was a couple of things also that you were working on in the pipeline that you, yeah. you know, wanted to 
wanted to feature. So we've covered the Friday, Free Fridays. Yeah. How do we get a hold of them? Do I contact you? Do I call you? Do we go on Facebook? Well, the Free Fridays, download the tracks. Yeah, the the tracks, tracks are all on YouTube for streaming. Yeah, you can okay. stream. Yeah, so all like, right. you can be at a party. You can As long as you got internet, you can just, you know, uh, YouTube us. Uh-huh. You'll find all five tracks giving you back to back to back right. hits. Back nothing back but good No tracks. laws of prohib- like nah, prohibited. Nah, Nobody, nah. you can go ahead just and just blast it. it. Just stream it. Just stream it and yeah. play it out there. Play it out. Yeah. Let's, let's touch a little bit on hip-hop. Because it's your it's your genre, it's your mm. thing that you do. Um, mm. When you went down to South Africa to SA, mm-hmm. were there things um, technologically, socially, economically that you noticed or picked up, or you know shared with other artists in terms of giving power to the hip hop community in music mm. industries and how we can forward ours? Like, what is it after you guys traveled and saw what's lacking? What do you think that we need to grow that genre? Well, I for one saw that. Um, we need a lot of management here. Mm-hmm. Artists need teams. Teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. because they a lot of guys have teams, mm-hmm. and a lot of guys are being pushed to do different things, things that they don't know. And I mean, you have so many great minds around you mm-hmm. that they just keep throwing you ideas and putting you in a good space. Mm-hmm. So I think we really, really, really need to step up the management. Absolutely. Artists should stop thinking about the money that I gotta pay this guy my percentage. The guy deserves his percentage. Because he's take doing it. the job. He's, he's doing the yeah. job, yeah. So we really need teams out here. Yeah, no doubt. And maybe William also got a different perspective uh, from s- it. For me, yeah. I just like the platform for for the people to support the artists. Mm. We need those platforms. Mm. The people who have ideas like, no, I want to hold this event. Don't be shy. Make the event. Mm. Exposing us as artists to the people. We need those people, most mm. of all. Yeah. More than the fans, more than the... Mu- artists we need the people who's going to provide the platform for mm-hmm. these people to meet whether it's a radio station whether it's a show mm-hmm. whether it's a new website we need all those things in order yeah. for this thing to really work yeah, yeah. all right okay yeah. 